Buongiorno Emilio, come sta? Oh, buongiorno, buongiorno Yasna. I'm, I'm very well, thank you. Sto bene, grazie. This is Five Minutes with Languages and Culture staff, and my guest today is Emilio Lomonaco. Emilio is a lecturer in Italian studies. Emilio, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, yes, good morning. And um, so my name is Emilio, Emilio Lomonaco. I come from Italy, specifically from Sicily, as you can see in my background. Um, I came to Australia in 1992, and then I started to do some tutoring in, uh, in Italian studies at the university while completing a, a Bachelor of Arts and then a Master of Arts. And then I arrived at Macquarie University in 1999. I started to teach at Macquarie University. So I like to think that I came to Macquarie University in the last century, which is also the last millennium. So, so I've, been, I've been at Macquarie um, uh, for a while and I've always been immensely happy of being part of the, the Macquarie, the Macquarie family and always, always fantastic. So I teach Italian, I, Italian to first year students and to third year students. And also in the past, I used to teach, um, I, had, I, I used to have um, courses in uh, culture as well, um, in Italian literature and Italian cinema. And for me, teaching Italian is a, is a passion. I, I will say is a passion. And for many, many, many reasons, um, I like, I like, first of all, I like the, the, the human um, uh, contact. I like to see the students, how they progress, what they are learning, what they want to learn. I, I feed on their curiosity and their willingness to learn, to learn more. And I feel, uh, I've always felt extremely um, happy and privileged to be um, to have the feeling of sharing what I have, which is my Italianness in general, also my Sicilianness <laughs> in particular, uh, when when we come to learning Italian and learning the, something about the Italian the Italian culture, and it's always a pleasure to start a journey with these students at the very beginning, and then um, to have them again in third year and, and, and see how much they have progressed and how much um, they have, um, uh, how much they have learned about the Italian language and culture. So there are many aspects of, of the teaching that I really, I really love. Emilio, if somebody asked you, um, why, why would I study Italian? Why Italian? What would you tell them? Like, why do you think it's a good a thing to study language or in particular Italian these days? Oh, in particular, okay, let's, let's talk about learning Italian. Okay, the obvious reasons are that many, many students are interested in the Italian culture, are they're, in, they're interested in traveling to Italy. They, they want to know more, they want to learn the language. But a part of that, and if, if we don't think about just learning Italian in particular, but learning a language, I would say, I would say there are so many, so many aspects that are important besides uh, learning uh, in, in uh, learning a language is the process of learning that is very important. Together, of course, with the with the very useful thing of of being able to communicate in a different language. But I would say probably the most important thing, or amongst the most important things, I would say is the thinking behind behind learning a language. The reasoning is the way the way we, um, students engage different parts of their brains to learn different, basically to learn a different logic in the language. So the, their brain is trained in, in, in moving out of a comfortable zone into, a, into something that is unfamiliar, of course, but is challenging, but is also very rewarding because they gain this different perspective in life and there, there, this different perspective in in um, uh, the way the way they see other cultures, I believe. It, your passion for what you do is so evident, but you have another passion, and that's music, isn't that right? Yeah, yes, definitely. Music is is one of my is one of my hobbies. But I must I must say I've been lucky enough 
to also to have the um, the privilege to play with professional musicians, even though I'm not a professional, but but I am very I'm very privileged to to be part of different type of ensembles um, uh, where I can I can play I can sing and um, because first of all I like to learn new instruments and especially if there are weird instruments not mainstream instruments so this is why i learned a bit i learned to play for instance the the jewish harp which is a little instrument that you play with your mouth and the doing the doing the doing and then i also play the kalimba which is the thumb piano is a an african african um, instrument and um, and i've been asked several times to play this weird instrument <laughs> together with other people playing also other weird instrument or not mainstream mainstream instrument and this is what what i like to do i like to to improve i like to practice and whenever i, I go to a music shop i, I see a, a different type of instrument which is a oh, say, oh i must have that so i buy it and then the technology now with with uh, with YouTube, you can learn whatever you whatever you want because there are there is always someone teaching you, willing you to teach how to play. For instance, in this case, a particular instrument. So yes, is a is a big passion of mine. This is so great. But tell me now, like two of your biggest passions: students and teaching and music. And here we are not being able to teach on campus, not be able to see our students. So how have you been coping during lockdown and during these difficult times for everyone? Well, um, uh, probably I'm, I'm coping the way other, many other are coping, trying to make the best of, of, the, of this situation. I enjoy playing tennis, for instance. I've been, so tennis is, has been one of those sports that Allah is still allowed. So I, I take part to um, a Sunday mornings competitions. So during the, during the week I train, I exercise at home. I have uh, some stairs, so I go up and down the stairs to, to gain some fitness. So I go, I go outside in the park. So Grazie mille. Prego, è stato un piacere. Thank oh. you very much for having me, Yasna.